Some 3D printer companies are lying to you. And that's not really a big deal. What's even cooler is that other 3D printer companies, a very few of them, are actually telling you the truth. Hey everybody, it's Joe, and I know you're gonna skip it anyway, so let's get the sponsored segment out of the way first. But before we go on, I wanna to talk to you again about Exter. You might have heard me talk about them in other videos, and in this video, I wanna to talk to you about how using an Exter card organizer is different than a traditional wallet. Traditional wallets sit in your back pocket, and they're big hunks of leather that, even when they're completely empty, take up a lot of space and make a square dent in your glutes. Whereas extra wallets are thin and they don't go in your back pocket, instead you keep them in front where your keys are. Now that might seem like a huge change for you, but for me, I was used to using key wallets, so it really wasn't that big a deal. And extra wallets are so thin and so efficient that you really don't notice them in there, other than the fact that you're no longer sitting on a chunk of leather in your back pocket. I hope that you'll check them out. The link is in the description. And if you use the code 3D on checkout, you'll get 25% off during their anniversary sale. All right, back to the video. Hey everybody, it's the 3D Printing Professor. And if you're new to 3D printing or just want something new to do with 3D printing, you're in the right place. I hope that you'll stick around and maybe even join me over on Discord where we've got a great community where you can show off the things that you've made or troubleshoot problems that you have. We have great people there and we'd love to see you. So I'm doing a little something different today with this video. You could tell it's a little bit more casual because I, I've, I've had a problem recently where 3D printers that I've been evaluating for review have promised things in their marketing copy that the machine itself was not entirely able to deliver on. Or maybe it delivered on it somewhat, but not quite to the degree that they were promising in their copy, or at least that I would have gotten from reading their copy. Now, this is not unusual, and it is not isolated to 3D printing. There's an old joke that says, how can you tell when marketing is lying to you? Answer, their lips are moving. Marketing is, it's specifically designed to drive sales. And so people who are focused on driving sales will do and say whatever they need to do to make a sale. And if their product doesn't deliver on what they say that it will do, well, that's not their problem, that supports problem. But good marketing understands that they're not just selling you a singular experience, but that they're selling you the whole experience over the lifetime of what they're doing. And so good marketing will work with support and produce a honest copy to sell people on their thing. The problem is, honest copy doesn't sell as well as a blatant lie, or at least a slight exaggeration. I mean, I kind of fall into that trap here on YouTube. Whenever I make a video, I have to put an eye-catching thumbnail on there that will get people's attention. Otherwise, nobody's gonna click on my video. And even if it's a good video, I have to do that bit of marketing on it. That's just kind of the way that it works. While part of me wants to name and shame and tell on these companies and raise a huge public outcry about the rampant dishonesty in the industry, if it's not actually hurting anybody, because this is the internet and it's either all or nothing, it's either pitchforks and torches or meh, and we gotta pick and choose when we pull out the pitchforks and torches, you know what I'm saying? Now, I wanna make a distinction. If there is safety involved, if companies are doing something that is inherently unsafe, yes, I will raise a public outcry about that to get them to change it. But in my experience, these little things are little things and don't deserve the sort of outcry that the internet can generate. So I decided in this video, instead of naming and shaming, that I would name and praise, that I would look over my big list of 3D printer reviews and find the 3D printers that I've worked with, look at the manufacturers and decide the ones that I thought were most honest with their customers.
Now, I want to be clear that honesty here doesn't mean that they make a product that you like. Yes, making a product that you like is important and an important part of being a good business, but honesty is separate from that. Honesty means that whenever they communicate with people, especially in marketing, that they say what it will do and that it does what they say. That if they promise, like, Wi-Fi delivery, that it's good Wi-Fi delivery, that it's clean and that it actually works, that they've actually, like, I don't know, maybe this is, is asking too much, but that they've actually used the equipment and worked the bugs out before they get it to you, that sort of thing. And if I don't mention a manufacturer that you like or that you think is honest, it's not because they're dishonest. There are a lot of people that I've worked with, and most of them, for the most part, are at least not dishonest. But I want to focus here on the top, the ones that go beyond just not being dishonest to actually being a little bit impressive, some of these. So I want to start with an honorable mention. When I reached out on Twitter, a lot of people were quick to jump up and support Elegoo as a manufacturer that is honest. And I had to look over my interactions with Elegoo. I honestly, I haven't had much interaction with Elegoo. I've had a few of their 3D printers, but really not a whole lot. But I can, I can honestly say that, yeah, they did what they said and they said what they did. And that was good. That, that was, it, 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 it like met that minimum requirement. And so, I am going to say Elegoo is an honest 3D printer company and deserves to be on the list. However, they are, you know, on that line. And if they start to make exaggerated claims, they could fall right off real easily. So Elegoo, you're there for now. Stay that way. And of course, there's big manufacturers like Stratasys. I've actually had interactions with Stratasys in the past, and Stratasys is definitely not making 3D printers that most of us watching this video, and definitely not me making this video, are going to have a chance to use very often. But I can say that when I used their equipment, they were impressive, they did what they promised, they were honest. So, absolutely. But a big manufacturer like that understands that honesty is central to their business. And so it doesn't surprise me that a big company like this is honest. It's, it's the ones where we get a little bit smaller that could fudge things a little bit in the marketing, bump up a few more sales, where honesty is really of super value. And one of those smaller companies that really has impressed me in the past is Flash Forge. I have two of their machines here and another one inside. This is their Creator 2, this is their Artemis, and the Adventure 3. I've been using those machines, Adventure 3s, for years, and they are and have been and continue to be impressive 3D printers. But what's more, I have never not known what I was getting with a Flash Forge 3D printer when I got it, because they were always very clear in their in their ad read what it was what it did their marketing was always very clear even when even when okay when i got the creator 2 max here with the idex on it i i was excited about all the features of it but i noticed that their copy didn't say anything about wi-fi delivery and that was one of the features that i keep touting about the Adventure 3. The Adventure 3 has Wi-Fi delivery and it has the super easy to replace and maintain nozzle and print head. And I looked at this and I'm like, okay, right there I can tell that nozzle is not the easy to replace one. I'm going to need three hands and two tools to be able to take it off. But it didn't say anything about Wi-Fi delivery. So I reached out to them and said, hey guys, did you make a mistake? Did you forget to mention that this has Wi-Fi delivery? And they're like, no, we didn't put Wi-Fi on this machine. Okay, honest. They didn't put it on there. They didn't say that they put it on there. They didn't say that they didn't put it on there. But I mean, I don't think that that's a requirement. I don't think it's a requirement to say, hey, this 3D printer doesn't have this feature. So, honest. I knew what I was getting before I got it. And I still love to use this machine because I know that I can just fire it up and keep going. Flashforge always impressed me. Uh, in the past, and, and I always know what I'm getting with a Flash Forge 3D printer. But there's another, 
a company that goes above and beyond in their honesty. They're not just honest, but they're open and honest. And you know who I'm talking about. It's Prusa. This is the Prusa Mini. I've got the MK3S inside. It's busy printing right now, so I, I can't show it off. But Prusa has always been not only honest, not only do their 3D printers do what they say, but they actually do more than they say. I would say that they don't even say everything that they do that is beyond what other companies can do. I'll give you an example. When I got the MK3S, one of the things that impressed me about it so much was that when you load filament, you pull out the filament, you stick it in the nozzle, and the UI doesn't wait for you to push a button. It just pops up and says, what heat do you want me to heat it to so that I can load this filament all the way for you? It's responsive. It responds to the input of you sticking filament in to start the loading process. When you stick the media in, the card in, it responds by saying, oh, hey, you want to start a print. Which one do you want? It doesn't make you go to the menu and say, I want to start a print. It says, you slid in the card, you'll want to start a print. Which one do you want to do? And I don't see that reflected in their ad copy. And it's something that, honestly, anybody could implement because they have been open source with their firmware. Anybody could copy that feature, and yet people don't. But even if they did, Prusa has been honest and their machines have over delivered on what Prusa promises that they can do. But the goal of this video wasn't just to blow smoke up the skirts of 3D printer companies that I like. The threefold mission of this channel is to help people get into 3D printing, give them something to 3D print, and make the 3D printing industry better. And I want to highlight these companies and their honesty and what it has done for them so that other companies may be able to look at their example and take that scary step into openness and honesty and doing the right thing and seeing that it can be a successful path to a growing and thriving business, not just a growing and thriving business, but a virulent and excited community of people who want to see you succeed. It can be done. It can absolutely be done. So what do you think? Were there any 3D printer companies that I missed that you feel should be on the list of honest 3D printer companies? And why would you put them on that list? But for me, that's it for this video. I wanna thank you very much for watching and remind you that you are a child of God. So you're special to me. So take care of yourself and if you can, someone else too. I'll see you next time.